it's that time of the year that you might be interested in making your very own fire pit for your backyard. Coming up right after this. Well, it's that time of the year, it's almost summer, and you might be thinking about making your own very own fire pit. Actually, you could be watching this video any time of the year and decide to make a fire pit any time you want. So I have just the fire pit for you. If you want to make a really awesome fire pit, as beautiful as the one in this picture here, or is it over here, or whatever, believe it or not, it's a lot easier than you think to make this fire pit. All you need are bricks. You need a lot of bricks to make this fire pit work. But well, you don't need cement, you don't need to dig holes, you don't need to do anything. You just need to find a patch of your backyard that is clear of grass or even make your own patch in your backyard or anywhere you want and you could just build this in a matter of minutes. And I'm gonna show you right here, right now, how you could build the most awesome fire pit with very little effort and I'm gonna do it in real time. I'm gonna try to do it in real time. All right, let's take a look. This is the fire pit that I built. As you can see, it's very similar to the one in the picture. The reason why it's not identical is because I chose to make a smaller fire pit with a smaller uh, diameter. This is the one I came up with and I'll show you in real time that it is actually so easy to build and you can make it as wide and as tall as you want. Now the one that you saw in the photo, in this photo here, is about 11 levels. I can't really see it while I'm recording this thing here. But the one that I built is slightly smaller. Okay, as you can see, I have dismantled the fire pit and we have here 87 bricks. That's pretty much how many I need. So you can make the fire pit with 90 bricks, you can make the fire pit with 120 bricks and so on. But now let's go ahead and build this real time. Here we go. I don't know if we could see me here. I'm gonna get in here. All right, here we go, there I am. All right, let's get this fire pit built in real time. Now, I'm gonna do some explanations here. The main format of the fire pit are going to be the first bricks that you're going to lay down. When you lay down your bricks, I'm, I'm not in the picture here, but that's fine. When you lay down your bricks, the first bricks are going to be the most important ones to decide how big you want to have your fire pit. So if we put it down over here, okay, and we start laying them down, the more bricks we add in the initial circumference decides the size of the fire pit. So in this case, I don't need to have such a big fire pit. I'm going to lay them down uh, like this. Now, if I want to have a bigger fire pit, I can go ahead and add more bricks. So we're going to add some bricks from the pile I have in front of me here. And the first layer is going to take the most time because this is the layer that you're going to be focusing on to get the right circle that you want for your fire pit. Okay. And it doesn't really matter so much how the bricks look like this one's upside down, this one's right side up, this one's cracked, it doesn't matter because once you're done, you're gonna have the most awesome effect for your fire pit and it'll just look really, really good. Now I have to say I got a lot of compliments on this fire pit, I built it multiple, multiple times. It's been knocked down by kids. It's been, uh, it's been moved around. This is not where I initially had my fire pit, but as you can see, it's very easy to put together. All you need to do is lay the bricks out in a nice circle here. Now, if I want to make this bigger, like I have here, I could just add more bricks and it'll be wider. I don't need to be bigger. I'm pretty happy with this size here. This is a nice size campfire. There's no reason in the world you need to have such a big fire, especially in your backyard. Um, it's not something that you need to, to, uh, to have that's gonna be so big. All right, now we have a foundation. Okay, now the foundation's laid out. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to go crazy over it because the idea is, is once it's done, it's gonna look awesome. Okay, so I'm just perfecting it for the video here, but it doesn't need to be perfect. That's really a lot of what we have to do. That's the bo bottom, that's the background. Sorry, not the background. This is the foundation of our fire pit. Now we have a laid out. The rest is actually fairly easy. Now, you literally just have to stack them interchangeable so that you are going to create the effect of having this opposite uh, layout, okay, like a zigzag. Now, let's start. I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to start building. Just before I get here, you're going to want to do three base layers and then you're going to start going up. It's three base layers. So right now we have here, 
I'm building the second layer. And then we're going to build the second, finish the second layer and build the third layer. And then we are going to have our fire pit. I really hope this is the recording is working on this thing because it's not, I'll be very frustrated to have to start over again. Now I'm not building it very quickly now, but I will get to quick in a second. As you can see, it's coming along just fine. It's really not a lot of work. You're just stacking bricks. Of course, if you want to make this more professional, you could cement it in. But I didn't dig any holes here. The hole was here already. The area was here already. I just flattened the earth and I start stacking it. Now we're going to do one more base layer and then we're going to start building up the wall. Okay. And I'm going to start moving faster here. Okay. So here we go. No talking. I'll talk, but I'm just going to move faster. Now these aren't the same order of the bricks as they were when I took them off. As you can see, they're the black, but that's all right. It doesn't matter. It's not, nobody cares. It's a fire pit. It's supposed to be black. It doesn't matter if the brick is black here, but I don't know. I'm just going to do it so that it looks perfect because I'm a perfectionist. And as a perfectionist, I like to waste my time with stupidity. That's how we are, unfortunately. All right. I should... Now, like I said before, I had about 80 bricks. I'm sure anyone watching this might fast forward because who the heck wants to watch me lay bricks? Okay, now, no talking. We're just going to start building the next layer. This is the cool part where we get the effect. Now, the cool part can start over here. It can start over here or it can start over here. It doesn't matter. All right, it really doesn't matter where you start it. You can start anywhere you want. You can make it as cool of a step as you want. We're going to just start stacking these babies to give that effect. But as you can see, it is really it's very simple to do. Very easy, very quick. The amazing thing about this fire pit is the reaction you get from people when they see it. They absolutely love it. It's like simply stunning. Now, if you stack the bricks and you're not happy with the height or whatever, you could rearrange them very easily and get another look. Get a better look one you want now i'm not recording uh i'm doing this kind of slow but to show you that you don't really have to be superman and do this super fast you can do this really easily just by i'm going to pause here for a second to see if we can even see the uh the bricks rising up here we go we're almost using up all the bricks and i'm going to end up cutting off my uh my um cord because I'm stacking bricks and it's going to end up yanking out of the camera. Look, this is actually so easy to do. The picture makes it look really challenging. That's one of my black bricks over here. Whoops. You don't want a brick falling on your toes. It can hurt. Now, if you're gonna have little kids around, you might want to cement it in, but you know what? It's really not a big deal. It's very easy to re, uh, rebuild this or adjust it or fix it. All right, we are almost done here. Just want to point out, we are really almost done. And it hasn't taken me more than several minutes to build this thing. Okay, now you could stop here. You keep going. I'm just going to do the final touches. And there you go. Okay. Got two more. I got, yeah, yep, that's it. Two more, and there we are. Uh, of course, I left the top one as a red one. Now, I could put on another two layers, another two bricks. It doesn't matter. But there you go. That was done in real time. How long did that take? Eight minutes. Eight minutes from the start of the video. That's pretty awesome. Look at that, folks. As you just saw for yourself, it was absolutely super easy to create this fire pit. I did it under 10 minutes, and it looks pretty impressive. You would think that it would take probably an hour to do. You just need about 100 bricks, and you could do this fire pit in about 10 minutes. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the fire pit itself and see how well it looks. This is from the front. Looks really nice in the front. 
Wait till you see it from the back. Look at that. That's pretty cool. All right, well, I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe. Hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and get more awesome videos from me. The more videos I get, the more videos I can produce. I make enough revenue, I can get a normal Bluetooth uh, microphone as opposed to this uh, cabled one. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next cookout. Rosso's Marshmallows, have an awesome summer, or winter, or whenever you're watching this. Thumbs up, have a good day.